Welcome to this technknowledge.org video. The topic of today's video is a comparison of the Skype and Viber apps. Now the question many might ask is, why do another video on Skype versus Viber when there are already so many videos out there comparing the two apps and there's so many blog entries and forum posts um, uh, comparing these two apps. Well, today's video um, has a slightly different focus. We're not comparing the features of these two apps, which has been done extensively in a lot of videos and um, forums, like I said. But um, we'll be comparing the real-world performance of these two apps, particularly looking at the data usage of the two apps and the amount of phone resources used by these two apps, since these are really critical aspects of, of um, the usability and user-friendliness of these apps. So, firstly, data usage is probably the most critical aspect of performance of these apps. This is because um, there's been a lot of excitement recently. The possibility of using these VoIP um, apps instead of network calling uh, because of the potential cost savings that they, that they can uh, give you. But few people know how much these calls actually cost. Um, everyone knows and agrees that when you're on a Wi-Fi connection, these apps are great. The call is virtually free, depending on your Wi-Fi package. But the question is, um, when one is not on a Wi-Fi connection, when one is using cellular data like uh, GPRS, 3G, HSDPA, what does it cost to make a call with a VoIP app like Skype or Viber? This leads us to having to know how much data is actually used by these uh, apps to make these voice calls over the internet. And it's not easy to come by this information. We've tested this by making calls of various lengths on both Skype and Viber and recorded the data usage um, per minute of these calls in order to compare the data usage between these two apps. Another potentially important consideration is the, date, the amount of data used by the apps when the apps are just idling in the background because these apps have to be on constantly if you want to be able to use them as a, as a real alternative to network calling if you want to you know, be able to receive calls through that as well. Further to this, we've also looked at how the app utilizes other phone resources like the battery, um, RAM and CPU usage. So let's look at a brief summary of the results. If you would like to see exactly how we ran these tests, collected the data, analyzed it, um, see the link below for the ebook report on Amazon Kindle. Um, there's a lot of information in there. And please feel free to, to send any suggestions to us at technknowledge.org. Uh, also, if you'd be interested in writing reports like this for technknowledge.org, um, please uh, contact us. So firstly, let's look at the, the data usage in idle mode. Okay. In idle mode, um, the, these apps still ha are connecting to the internet and transferring data um, back and forth in order to, to pick up when someone's trying to call you. So with this one, Viber wins hands down. Um, so the Skype app uses approximately 0.77 megabytes on a 16-hour day. And we use the 16-hour day because no one is awake for 24 hours a day, so, um, or very rarely. So typically, you know, people would have 16-hour days. Um, and the, this amounts to about 23 megabytes of data per month, um, a 30-day month. And the Viber app uses much, much less. Um, Viber app uses about 0.05 megabytes per 16-hour day, which amounts to about 1.5 megabytes per month. Now, that's a huge difference in terms of data usage. Um, but really, it's going to be up to the individu individual user to, to decide whether that's a material difference for them. If you have a huge data package on your, on your um, cell phone contract or your mobile you know, smartphone contract, then you know this might not be a material difference to you. You might just you might actually keep both apps on <laughs> if you want to be reachable in both ways. Um, but for you know for people that are on a on a tighter budget and have maybe a smaller data package, you know, to about you know 22, 20 odd megabytes can make a big difference um, in terms of the, the cost that they're paying and you know not having that those megabytes free for other usage. Okay. So that's the, the idle mode, 
Fiverr definitely wins hands down in terms of that. So now let's, let's look at the data usage during calls and we're going to go into a screenshot for that um, so that you can actually see the graphs that um, summarize the data that we've collected um, and then we'll come back. Okay, so what we have here is a graph depicting the comparative data usage of the Skype and Viber apps in call, during calls. Um, and as an extra level of comparison, we've just done the tests on Wi-Fi connections and cellular data connections. Um, you can see the one here to focus on is cellular data connection, and you can see that the Skype app in the blue uh, uses considerably more data per minute than the Viber app in the purple. Um, now, whether this amounts to a material difference for you on your data plan, um, that's for you to decide. And if you want the exact details of how many megabytes per minute these, these apps are using, uh, you can look at the ebook report on Amazon Kindle in the link below. Um, but the important thing here to note is that the Skype app does use considerably more data uh, than the Viber app um, for making calls over a cellular data network. Then the next thing to look at is the, the phone resource usage. Um, so just a quick look here. Um, the battery usage on Skype is also much higher than the provider. And um, this is background or in idle mode. The CPU usage um, is less for Skype than for Viber, and so is the RAM um, the access to the, the RAM usage is less on Skype than Viber. And just as an interesting aside, the, the app size, which is largely irrelevant, but just an interesting to note as well, um, the Skype app is, is a bit bigger than the Viber app. So that's it from on the graphs, um, and then we'll just summarize uh, what that all means. So in summary, it certainly looks like the Viber app outperforms the Skype app um, in terms of data usage during calls during standby mode, and as well as the battery drain. Tied to the fact that the, the Viber app integrates with your phone contacts, um, which makes it far more user-friendly than Skype, it certainly seems like it's the better app uh, to use for voice calls on your, on your mobile phone, and, to, and it's, a, it's a real viable alternative to, to using network calls. Obviously, it's going to depend on the cost of your network calls and the cost of your data, but at least now you have the information uh, to know which app is better. And if you want to see the details of you know, exactly how, ma how many megabytes uh, both these apps use for voice calls, then uh, have a look at the link below. Uh, go to the, the Amazon eBook uh, report that's on there with all the detailed information on there. Um, and if you have any comments and questions, please pop us, uh, you know, feel free to comment below. And we'd also like to know what your experiences of using these apps. Uh, is the call quality good? Um, you know, is it reliable? Uh, are you using it as an alternative to network calls? If you've gained value from this video, um, we'd really appreciate it if you give, give us a thumbs up and please share this video with other people that you find think might find uh, value in it um, and please subscribe to our technology channel there's some really exciting uh, videos coming up and, and um, we really aim to, to give you quality knowledge uh, to help you get the best use out of your technology thank you and cheers